YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So sources have leaked onto the big wide web about Harry allegedly, possibly. Now I'm not 110% sure about this because even though Harry has done a lot of things in the past 18 months and he has done a lot of car crash interviews and made some quite questionable appearances. I just don't know if he would seriously do this. But allegedly online, it has been leaked that Harry is trying to up his relatability specifically to African-Americans, seeing as we know that Meghan and Harry conveniently forgot to leave out Doria from the naming of Lily and I'm not even going to say the full name because I personally feel as though it's very disrespectful to the Queen. They left Doria out of Lily's name and there's also a few more online rumours about why they called her Lily, not just to relate to the Queen, but there's something to do with her genetic code and also something to do with the way in which they wanted her to be very reflective of Diana, but that's another story. So apparently they've lost touch with the BLM movement, and <laughs> which is quite hilarious because we know that neither of them was really concerned about the BLM movement in the first place. It was trending, it was a hot topic at the time, and it was just a convenient bandwagon for both of them to latch themselves to, considering Meghan used her African-American heritage to get out of having to fulfill her royal duties, which is an old story. So he's trying to up his relatability to African-Americans. And this is apparently in order to get the support of the leftist movement, because we know that Meghan and Harry are complete woke lefties, aren't they? And they would like to venture into the political sphere, but they want to do it in a modern way. And we know that they're all about modernising their public image and building that connection with the American public. And in this situation, they are specifically targeting African Americans. I think that this is a terrible PR idea. If Harry really is going to do this, like I said, this is a big if. I personally am not sure about this uh, online source, but I think that Harry has done some quite questionable things including talking to Greta Thunberg over the phone and trashing his royal heritage. And he did not know that he was actually not talking to the royal Greta Thunberg at the time. He was actually talking to two pranksters from Sweden or somewhere. So he could have been talked into this because Harry is not exactly the brightest spark in the toolbox, right? So he has now instructed, allegedly, Hollywood PR firm Sunshine Sachs to get in touch with the producers from Love & Hip Hop. And we know that Love & Hip Hop is pure and utter trash. It is just like sick bucket stuff. And the people on there, they really, I, I mean, they can come for me. You can come for me. You can drag me if you are a big fan of Love & Hip Hop. But the show is trashy. I personally don't watch it, but some of the snippets that I've seen from it, some of the scenes that I've seen from this show would literally, would literally make my grandfather just like turn 10 times in his grave. And they just aren't classy, okay? And I don't understand how they feel as though, or their PR firm feels as though this is going to help to make them more relatable to African-Americans because African-Americans are upstanding citizens. Uh, they're, they're not all reenacting love and hip hop in their everyday life. Like this is drama. This is not real life. This is a reality show. So are Meghan and Harry so detached from the everyday African-American person that they genuinely feel as though by featuring on this show in some kind of way, they are going to be more relatable? Like most people look down on 
love in hip hop, like anyone with, you know, two brain cells to rub together. Apparently he's possibly going to feature in one of their upcoming seasons next year. Uh, the source also said that Harry is believed to be very excited about meeting the cast members on the show. He feels as though having married a woman of mixed origin, African-American origin, he will be able to relate to the cast because this is, you know, primarily it's an all black cast to my knowledge. So he feels as though he has some kind of affinity. He has some kind of connection, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. I just feel like Harry, Hairbrain Terry has completely lost his marbles if he's really going to do this and it's not going to help them in any way, shape or form. It's going to end in a complete disaster. That's all I can really say. And we all know it, whether Harry does this or not, it's not going to be a pretty ending for Harry Boy uh, as it stands. Um, and Harry is also said to be discussing, allegedly, he's going to be making four on-screen cameos in between all of his newfound charitable commitments and international initiatives. So he's going to squeeze this into his very busy schedule. Of course, he's on that extended six-month maternity leave hiatus, whatever it is, with Megsy, which... They haven't stuck to at this point because she was just writing some long-winded, um, self-congratulatory letter to her a patronage in the UK for animals. I think it's Mayhew, and um, so yeah, it, it, they they're not going to stay away from the public eye for more than six months. We know that there's more coming. We know that the PR firm, Sunshine Sachs, and all the rest of the PR firms that they are working with have a lot in the pipeline to shove down our throats so that we can pretty much just feel physically sick and vomit. It has also, <laughs> like I said, this is alleged, uh, been rumoured that Megan is set to appear on the reality TV show via a Zoom call. I don't understand this whole Zoom call because remember when Harry done the whole interview with James Corden, Megsy showed up with, you know, the perfect lighting and her hair was set and it was perfectly tousled and blown out. And she was, you know, making a point of saying, Hairs, how are you? And she was on the phone and it all happened on screen conveniently. And they tried to make it look very organic and, you know, like it was just an organic phone call that was not orchestrated or planned at all, but it really was orchestrated, contrived and, <laughs> you know, planned PR. So she's going to be appearing on a Zoom call this time on the show while Harry is on the show. And allegedly she may feature Lily on the call, which would, it would just be diabolically bad. Like I, Megan's done a lot of low down things and you can't, you know, it's, that have been undeniably bad. But to f make your daughter's debut be interlinked with love and hip hop. Like, I just, like, this, this is weird. Like, I just find this extremely weird. It also says here, uh, as her daughter's debut to the world. So allegedly, this is going to be her debut to the world. Um, I'm not going to put the source out there because it's a blind leak. So, you know, I, I probably should. Because, you know, I'm delivering this information to you guys. I see these things and I'm like, hmm, I, I'm not really sure how true this is. But if it does turn out to be true, I mean, it's just another hazardous Harry moment, isn't it? But he has a lot already on his resume. So it wouldn't surprise me if he was really doing this. And yes, yeah, it's, it's quite funny, to be honest. Uh, and that's it. There's so much out there that I have to cover. So I will be back with yet another video and I'm going to get into uh, Lily's genetic code. So I'll be back with another video. Bye guys.